the lead up was insane. Of course, you have doubts going in. But I feel we all overcame that. There were definitely people around us that maybe thought that a band of our size weren't necessarily ready to be trying to achieve what we were setting out to do. But if anything, that just gave us more determination to do it and do it well. And we'd had a great year previous. Played bigger shows. Come away with more fans and seeing more people in the crowd singing back and playing with some great bands was, it was 2014 was truly a great year so it, the stage was set to do something big so we did our last show of the year in Cardiff um, in Club Eva Bach for uh, Oxcham when we actually ended up playing our set the room kind of filled up probably it helped that we we had done the kids and glass houses show and the dirty youth show and from that point onwards which was september that kind of it kind of started to expand and people started to actually understand us process for this year as we started is we started writing new material and at the time we started writing we didn't really know what was going to happen with it or what we were going to do or if anything if anything really good was going to come out to be honest um, so we started writing and then we sort of we started to get involved with Dan Weller and Dan showed an interest in working with us and you know to have that support from somebody like that was just amazing um, and we ended up doing a writing session with him in West Wales in a cottage that we wrote actually most of this new day in. Um, so it was really nice to go back there because we hadn't actually been back there um, in about 18 months, 2 years so it was really nice We ended up going back to Mono Valley, which for me personally was just an amazing thing because I never th we went when, when we first went to Mono Valley, which was back in sort of 2010, I think. We really savoured the experience. We were there for about a week, and it was such an amazing place to go. And we saved it because we never thought we'd be able to go back. So to get the opportunity to go back there, not just back there with you know the in-house guys which don't get me wrong great but to actually go in and bring our own producer in and, and you know the producer being Dan Weller was just phenomenal I mean we always look every single year going on you know we're progressing and we, we're moving forward and it was a res you know start of the year it was a resounding yes <laughs> What was it? 
you said, as it's ten past ten? People might want to pick. People might want to pick. People might want to pick. It's ten past ten, we've just People had breakfast. People might want to pick, mate. I'm not going to say it to you again. You're not picking up Pringles at ten past ten. Look, you can dip them in something. Uh, There's two kinds. That's going to be high cholesterol, that is. Look, peanuts. Peanuts at Squash. ten past ten. Squash I can deal with. Harry bones. Oh my god. Harry bones. It's like a kid's Peanuts. lunchbox in you. Look, Pringles, pasta, <laughs> solids, everything. Look, mate. And why? Because people might want to pick. <laughs> His eyes sort of go, cry, Max. <laughs> That's Dude. fine. Oh, thanks, mate. Does that make sense? Yes. Don't be afraid what? to cry, Max. Did you just get attitude with Dan Weller? No. <laughs> you just went, yes! No. no. I'm reading too much into this, mate. Yeah, stay out of this, Joe. She had attitude with you. So the, the important thing is to make sure... Is, uh, Can I ask what feathering means? Feathering? No, no, no. Oh, feathering. Feathering. Feathering, like... Do you know what a flapper is? Feather? What? Do you know what a flapper is? No, are you going to tell me? Yeah, like, like that. <laughs> The Prepping before the uh, main the event. Valley, what have we just been doing? Um, right, well... This. Yeah, how's it going? Educational. Um, Anything else to say on that? Tim? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> We're in full drop tune. No geese? No geese, let's get the fuck off. It's too wet for geese. The whales, it's too wet for geese. <laughs> this is where we jump in when it all doesn't go very well. And all my misery 
So we're in Wrexham. We played Focus Wales today. Partial! <laughs> that was a mud bag, Partial. Kentasha! You did I'm going to put an apple loop on this. <laughs> oh, <the> jazz. <laughs> Street and the club's called 229. I hear it's good. It's purple. Is it? It is. Cool, cool. We haven't played there before. It's small and purple. The potential of a lot of people coming is 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 likely. And um, if you're watching this video, it's too late, you've missed it. Yes. <laughs> and, and it was... Please don't go to 229. <laughs> Where are you guys going? Cardiff, Cardiff to Canada. That way. You're about to trip up on the escalator. <laughs>
is the first show, one of two in the hideout um, tonight. Uh, we're on a half past seven, and uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. We've got our guitars delivered, ready for the uh, ready for the show. I've been to Top Man. I bought an oversized shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and halfway around the world for Top Man. Halfway I'm, around the world. Yeah, which I'm really excited about. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna rip Canada a new one tonight. So with Joe in his new shit, we were ready for the first show, and uh, yeah, half past seven is an early one for for Canada. Well, it's, it's an early one anyway, unless you're playing a festival, I suppose. Um, it wasn't the most packed show, definitely not out of the two, but it may be one of the most important shows we've ever played as a band. We just don't know yet. And after this first show and sort of seeing what we'd seen already, and the trip was already worth itself ten times over, and we still had the second show to go. Album sponsors. Album, yeah. So our first track is called Bracken Carrick. And we're going to do a tour starting in Bracken, traveling through France for the Ibion. Um, yeah, where else is good water from? Who's got some good water? And we'll come back here. Yeah, uh, we'll finish it in Toronto. Toronto, your water's great. See you again. I'm a Jesus Christ Pope. Oh, look at that. Look at that song. Hey. What are you doing later? Do you want to party? Hey, do you know... Um, <laughs> this will be better. <laughs> <laughs> we are here back at the Sheraton Hotel in downtown Toronto. Um, last show tonight. Two of two. Looking forward to it? Yeah. At the hideout. Band the Rascals, Kings of Wood, Kings Wood playing. Um, yeah, it's really awesome. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, we're just chilling now in one of the nice little garden area in the centre of the hotel. So it's pretty nice. Let me know how you so, play. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Play, play for last night. Um, such a cool venue. And me and Rid kind of find all the setting up there. Yeah. You know, we can live out the rest of our days quite happy there, but the venue really? in the middle of Canada is run by Irish people. From Pontypool. Well, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've gone, we've gone four thousand miles across, you know, an ocean, landed in a city we've never been to, and we immediately find someone from Trevet in who runs <laughs> a really kick-ass Irish bar. The place just absolutely awesome music. So yeah, it's right. Okay. Cool, cool. And you're looking forward to tonight? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sweet. That feels just warm up. <laughs> cool. Lovely, lovely in my store that the percent with me on it today. Yeah, some Not technical fun. difficulties last night. It's, uh, it's been unsummable. That's the word. Yeah. Unsummable. Unsummable. I'll take it. It's been good in layman's terms. <laughs> I'll start trying to use the big words now. I'll stick to it. It's been really good. Yeah. It's been really good. There's, there's a, few, a few things that happen out here that we just never thought would ever kind of come around and mind-boggling. Don't want to kind of go into too much detail yet because things are yet to play out if they're going to, but if it does come about then it's completely game-changing for us and it's just not something we would expect at all. But, you know, the response is absolutely mind-blowing. Um, 
you've got nothing to break with. So it's, you know, it's kind of it's really cool to travel this this far from places with that many important people and just you know have it yeah, yeah, go cool. so well. Everybody really likes it. Cool, man. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, guys. Yeah, the, the whole thing's been mad. I mean, five days hasn't really probably even sunk in yet. Obviously, you do these kind of things, you don't want to take anything for granted, but it's almost like, I wish we were here longer. Um, the show last night was really, really good. Looking forward again to tonight with some really cool bands. And yeah, you almost want to do more of it. So, but hopefully this is the first of many times we come here. Yeah, it's been a really cool experience. We're just gonna probably go a little, a little bit wild tonight on stage in athletes, maybe. Um, yeah, and give it a, give it a good go. Yeah, it's been great. So, uh, I kind of really don't want to leave. So although we were in Toronto to work and play shows and meet lots of people, we really still wanted to take in as much of the city as we could because it's such an amazing city. Um, so luckily the, the last day that we had there um, was a day off before we flew back so we used the opportunity to get as high up as we possibly could to take in the whole city and it was completely breathtaking it was such an amazing experience Here, Craig, is Bruce. Captain Bruce. 